What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to announce that we now have a direct live link going from Cinema 4D into Unreal Engine 5 with today's Cineware update. And so in order to get started, you actually wanna make sure you open up the Maxon app and you update Cinema 4D. And then while you're at it, you're also gonna to wanna to update your Redshift as well to the latest version of Cinema and Redshift for this to work properly. And once you have everything updated, you wanna to go to maxon.net and go up there to products and then make sure you go down to Cineware. You're gonna scroll down until you see Cineware for Unreal. You're gonna download the plugin and you're gonna download the latest version of Cineware because this is the only way that you're gonna get this to work. Now, once you open up the executable file, this is exactly what you're going to see. You're just going to go down and you're going to click next. And then you're going to see this screen. It actually says direct link for Unreal Engine 5.3. Very important. You need to install that. And then also on this next page here, you'll see the destination. You want to make sure that you're going under engine plugins marketplace so you must make sure that you have the marketplace folder if it's not there you must create it and i already have this installed already so i'm just going to save over top of it but having the marketplace plugin folder there is absolutely essential to get this to work and then on the next page here you're going to see that it's going to want to install a plugin inside of the cinema 40 max on folder so again make sure you follow the directions that are there i usually install it on a c drive it just makes sure that everything goes a lot smoother so now we're inside of Cinema 4D, the latest version, 2024.2. Very important that you're using the latest version here. Now let's just set up a simple scene. So if I come over here to the top left under my content browser, let me see, let me just add something that we already have here. So this already has Redshift already on it. This bag of Tortilla chips. So I'm going to double click on this. And now that we have our bag in here, let's make this a lot larger. So maybe let's do 10 by 10 by 10. I'm actually just going to hit C just to make it editable because we don't need all this other stuff. So now we have our bag of chips in here. It has a redshift material. So now let's just add a redshift camera. So I'm going to come down here, just add a standard camera. We could probably just zero this out and just pull it back. So zero, zero, zero. Just going to pull this back real quick. Look through my camera just to make sure everything is centered. We can even bring our bag of chips down here and we can rotate this if we want. So now that we have our simple scene set up here, I'm actually going to hit Control S. And I'm just going to save this out as C4D underscore direct link. You can make it anything you want, but for the tutorial, I'm just going to name it that. So I'm going to save that. And then now if I come up here to where it says extensions, I'm going to left click on this, come down here to Unreal direct link, and I'm going to click on direct link sync. So you just click on that. And that's basically all you had to do. So next, we're just going to open up Unreal Engine 5, in which I already have a standard scene already opened up. So I'm going to come over here to edit come down here to plugins and I'm just going to real quick type in cinema to make sure that it's installed in which we have Cineware by max on exactly what we want it's already turned on and then we have version 2024.2.9 very essential you need the latest and greatest so that's the latest version as of today that you're going to need so I'm going to exit this out the next step from here is come up here to where we have this cube I'm going to left click on this Come down here to data smith and we should see down here where it says direct link input i'm going to click on this and now you should see the scene that says direct link available sources i have my computer right here you can see that's coming from cinema 4d and we have the source which is what we named our c4d file which i named c4d underscore direct link so i'm just going to select this i'm going to hit select and that's going to bring up this import right here this should be very familiar to you if you use data smith in the past so i'm just going to put it into my content folder i'm going to click ok and now this is going to bring up the data smith import options in which again this should look very familiar to you but the only caveat is even though we have an animation tab right here this is the first iteration of the direct link here so animations won't come over as of now but everything else should so once again if you have any keyframes or anything that's not going to come over but they are working on a feature update where this is going to be implemented so as long as you have everything clicked on here i'm going to click on import and i'm just going to let this import now in which now you can see it imported our file here inside of unreal engine i'm going to look through my camera and if you notice it's black here i've covered this in the past but if you have your camera selected come down here under search type in ex and then down here under exposure i'm just going to turn off metering mode like so and now we should see everything through our camera and i can actually come over here under perspective and come down here and select my redshift camera now we see it how it should be inside of cinema 4d 
so if i actually let me make this a split screen here okay so i tried my best to make this a split screen on the left hand side you can see we have cinema 40 on the right hand side we have unreal engine having a widescreen monitor actually helps out a lot with this process here but i'm going to make do with what i have so on my left hand side i'm actually just going to click on my bag here and then i'm just going to rotate this around so let me rotate this maybe somewhere around there i'm just going to hit Control s to save it out and then I'm going to come right here to where it says extensions, then come back down here under Unreal Direct Link, hit Direct Link Sync. And when I click that on, now you can see it moved it inside of Unreal Engine. So we didn't have to re-import it or anything. We just have it directly linked right in from Cinema 4D into Unreal. So if I move this around even more like so, let's do something like that. Come back over here, extensions, Unreal Direct Link, Direct Link Sync. Now we have it moved inside of Unreal. So you can see the potential of having these both open at the same time and making your updates inside of Cinema and also having an update in Unreal. Now let's say you wanna add a few more things inside of your Cinema scene because you're working maybe like on a game level or an environment. So I'm just gonna come in here. Let's just add a few more objects in here. Nothing too crazy, just to show as an example. So now we have these three objects inside of our scene. If I come back over, extensions, and I'm going to hit direct link sync. Now you can see inside of Unreal, it added these objects. So now you can see the potential of having these two connected. Even if I move my camera around here as well, we could just come through, swing through here. Same thing, extension, Unreal link. Boom, now it moved inside of Unreal. So this is the first step of us having our direct live link from Cinema 4D into Unreal. I know animation is going to be coming sometime here in the future, but for now, I can see the potential, especially when building out environments or working on game levels, like the possibilities are endless for these two to link together and the integration is just becoming greater every day. So hopefully this is exciting to you guys out there that have been looking for a live link. This is the first step in the right direction. Leave me a comment down below. Maybe some stuff that you want to see when working with Cinema 4D into Unreal Engine. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.